What is up guys and welcome back to episode 3 of the first look of FM19 or Football Manager 19 for 2 game. In this episode, as promised, we're going to start off with um, our first press conference as Newcastle manager. This little screen here is quite new and it's quite good. I like this cool little um, <coughs> cool little uh, thumbnail there um, with our manager picture there um, and our name and everything. Hashtag Newcastle. We've um, also got a bit more information about who's going to be involved in the press conferences. We're expecting to have five journalists. Um, it's being held at St James Park, obviously. Um, notable journalists in attendance. You've got Thomas Kane from Sky Sports News, who doesn't really care about you, um, as neither do all the other four notable journalists in attendance. Um, Calvin Thompson from 442, Oscar Hallin from Goal, and Craig Calder from BBC Newcastle. Likely talking points, this is what they're going to touch on. The new job, that your management style, your relationship with the board, Jamal Lascelles, okay? Um, press impressed, the media are expected to touch upon your relationship with Mike Ashley, with particular focus on certain conversations the pair of you may have had recently, so be careful with their line of questioning. Because... I'm not a big Mike Ashley fan, but don't tell them that. So let's go and attend the press conference and see what they've got to say. So this is new, this whole background. It's actually a press conference room, which looks pretty neat. Uh, you would think Newcastle would have, have more comfortable chairs, but it's only the press, so who cares? Um, Hi, Kai Alex, says Thomas Kane. What are your initial thoughts on taking the Newcastle job? <clears throat> Again, you've got your assertive, passionate, cautious and calm. And as annoying as it can be sometimes when things aren't going your way, it, it is key to maybe use these properly. Um, so I think passionate, um, my initial thoughts as a Newcastle fan taking this job, I'm very excited. This is a great club and I can't wait to get stuck in. I'm looking forward to getting to work. There's a lot to do here, but I'm proud to be given this opportunity. I don't wish to discuss this. Managing this great club is going to be a great challenge, both personally and professionally. It is an honour to be sat here in front of you. I'm delighted to be the new Newcastle manager, and I know that whilst I need to be patient, I can bring success to this club. We're going to go with that one. Um, Calvin Thompson next from 442. You stand here today unveiled as the Newcastle manager. As a big fan of the club, surely this must be a dream come true. We're going to stay passionate because this is our dream. It's a special day for me, but there's work to be done and no time to, for reminiscing. I have to be careful not to let my love for this club affect my judgment. I don't think this is appropriate for me to comment on. I cannot stop smiling. This is a wonderful feeling. I've dreamt of this moment for years. I mean, I support the club, but do I want them to think it's everything I've ever wanted? Maybe not. Um, we're going to go with... Um, we're going to go with that one. It's a special day. Oscar Hallin, do you feel the expectations asked of you this season have been fair and realistic? Um, we'll go with calm now. Um, I'm very happy with the direction we're going in. Everyone at the club wants to be the best that they can be, nobody more so than me. Um, if the club is really progress towards the higher reach of the game, everybody has to be ambitious and aim high. That is what we're doing at the moment. I'm not at liberty to discuss matters of privacy. Striving for quality is all... and all well and good but at times when it feels as if there are decisions taken without true understanding of circumstances the club finds itself in I've been given a remit by the powers that be and will live and die by results on the pitch whether that's fair or not for someone else to decide that's for someone else to decide because it clearly doesn't matter what I think that just sounds a bit salty doesn't it so we're not going to go with that one um, we're just going to go with that um, you can also before I mentioned you can add additional comments but they don't really make any difference they just sometimes come up on the screen um, so it doesn't actually affect the game you could say one thing and then type something completely different and you still the answer you click will be the one that affects uh, things because obviously the computer doesn't understand that you're having a go at it or whatever um, also down here we do have um, some information so i'm the newcastle manager i'm on 56k per week until 2019 so one year contract which is standard for football manager when you're starting out my reputation is national my media handling handling is yet to complete a press conference so obviously that goes 
with um, sometimes if you don't do a lot of press conferences, it says you're, you're media shy and so on and so forth. Um, <clears throat> Oscar Hallin again, you've taken the step into football management despite being just 24 years of age. Someone hasn't changed their age because I'm not 24. Um, critics have suggested that you will struggle to command respect in the dressing room that contains players older than you. What do you say to that? We're going to go assertive to this. I don't think age is important. The best way to earn respect of the players is by winning games, and I'm confident I can do that. There are plenty of examples of young managers having success in the game. I believe I can be one of them. We're going to go with that. Does this squad have the necessary... Oh, Hall Hallin wants a lot of questions, doesn't he? Does this squad have the necessary quality for you to achieve your targets? Um, we're going to go assertive again, I think. I think... I have an inheritant, uh, uh, inheritant, inherent. I can't talk. Level of trust in their collective abilities, and look forward to finding out how far I can take us in the short term. We'll go with that. Um, have you met your players yet? And if so, what's the mood in the camp? They're excited for a fresh start. We're going to rush through this one now because we've been on here a little while, and you don't need that much uh, look at this same thing. What role can the sport play in the moving the club forward? Um, the fans can play a massive part. How far can you take this club? I want to make a long-term success out of this club and I hope that we can make that vision a reality. We'll go with that. How hard do you expect to work the players on the training ground? I want everyone to embrace hard work and know that it's all geared towards improvement. Yep. Well, some manager famous for hands-on approach, others maintain a more reserved manner with the players. How do you see your management style? Um, I, think, I think things work best when players feel valued as people as well as footballers. Yep. It has often been said that managers favour different competitions. We be concentrating. Uh, um, I don't think it's right to prioritise one competition over another at this stage. Will you be looking towards the likes of Jamal ourselves as the focal point of this team right now? He is our captain in real life and he is a boss in the game as well. So hopefully we can keep him um, passionate. He's a tremendous player and he's all in, inaugural to our chances, or whatever that said. Um, so we're back to the inbox and we can play a device. A, a advice. This is again the assistant or, or your coaches coming to you and saying, I think uh, Juanito Lopez should be moved from the under 18s to the under 23s, could be of use to the under 23 squad. So we can apply that by clicking this tick here. Um, he's obviously outgrown the under, under 18s, which is good news. Um, respect from the players due to positive relationships is my manager support level um, and we've got these players who have good potential and that's just letting us know basically <clears throat> and this is basically the outcome of the press conference all that for this little screen here so FM prepared to wait for success at Newcastle. Kylex FM faced the media for the first time as Newcastle boss today as he attended a press conference to announce his role. FM fielded a range of questions such as new job and his management style from the likes of Sky Sports, 442 Goal and BBC Newcastle. Sky Sports News chose the main focus point of the conference with the journalist Thomas Kane asking, Hi Kylex, what are your initial thoughts on taking a Newcastle job? Probably not the, the, the most in-depth question that was asked in that press conference. But anyways, FM response was passionate, noting, I'm delighted to be one, the Newcastle manager and I know that whilst I need to be patient, I can bring success to this club. Um, and there's my mugshot there. <coughs> um, let's have a quick look at the training. So again, you've got your primary tactic. Um this is another new thing. You've got your training performances. This is brilliant because obviously in football in real life, if you're not training well, you're probably not going to get into the first team. Um, so having these training ratings is awesome. Jamal Lascelles, by the way, um, is an awesome trainer. Um, in my other offline save, um, I signed him for Man United Um and he was getting tens every every week, pretty much, or nines between nines and tens, which is absolutely ace. Um, we haven't had a bad performer yet, which is awesome. Um, and I have set this to to um, for the uh, assistant manager to sort out, haven't I? Um, content with training overall, everyone. Here's your medical centre. This is increased 
uh, your injury risk f with the training. Um, I don't really know what you can do here, to be honest. Um, you can change your primary tactic. Uh, you got your calendar. So this this tells you obviously this is this is previous and this is now. So that tells you you've got physical outfield and rest. Physical outfield and rest. Then on the Wednesday you got three training sessions. On the Thursday you got two training sessions and a team bonding session. Um, again, the assistant manager is doing this because it just takes too long to sort out. Otherwise, I've heard some people have spent three hours sorting their training out. Um, so we're just letting him do it and I can explain it to you. And then Friday, you've got overall and then you've got your match tactics and match preview. Um, so it seems like um, these greyed out ones are already done. What What does it say? Wednesday the 27th. Yeah. So they're already done. Um, so this is the this is the next day and blue seems like proper training green seems like maybe more um helping the team morale and all that sort of stuff and then you've got these which match tactics and match preview the light blue which seems to be um sort of sitting in a room watching telly and going over and going over a uh, whiteboard um so there are ways you can change that and all that um and tomorrow uh, and then saturday we've got bromby um you can change the month so that's our next month's um shows you all your games and all that um so that's good you can change that there um schedules we've got nothing scheduled units um Defensive unit, attacking unit, goalkeeper unit. We haven't got a midfield unit. Why have we not got a midfield unit? The the um, coaches are doing that anyway, so we'll leave that to them. But that's quite good. So you can, this is the this is training them in units rather than as a full team, where your attackers are probably not going to benefit from defensive training, which is what has happened in the previous games. In this game, you can do defensive tr unit training, attacking unit training. And goalkeeper unit training. Mentoring is basically the um I can't remember what it was called in the last game now. It's just completely gone off me head, gone out of my head. Um but basically it's where you ask other players to mentor um younger players. So you can add a group but instead of asking one player to do a uh one player, you can add the group. So let's go we just put um strikers. Um, you can do this however you want. Um, some people were doing it. I'll show you now. Um, so let's add player to this group. So we've got our strikers here. So let's add Yoselu, Rondon, Perez is a striker-ish. So is uh, Mutu. So you've got here your personalities. So you've got fairly professional, balanced, ambitious, fairly ambitious. Some people do the um, it on personality. Um, but if you've got a youngster... Um, who you want to be more rounded you know if you put him in with these four first teamers he's probably going to be um, a bit more rounded the problem is I haven't and I don't know if this is a bug on FM19 uh, beta um, or or what but it seems like you can't add your under 18s or your under 23s into this group of players which sucks a little bit because they're obviously the ones you, you want to mentor um so we're just going to go with that for now so now we've made our our group there so you've got your um muto you've got all your players there uh their hierarchy so muto's an influential player i'm not sure how rondon i'm not sure how because they're they're, they're new perez obviously he's been here a while so he's a highly influential player and then you lose uh, other players but this might help them actually all merge to one group which is good then you've got your estimated influence on the group. So you've got three average and one light. Obviously not great, um, but I'm just sort of showing you how it's done. Individual training. Um, this this is a new it's a new outlook, but it's 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 not a new feature. This you know it's if you want to change Kieran Clark's, I do like I do prefer the layout. You can change his position and his role and duty and all that there. So if I wanted to train train him to be yeah, if I wanted to train. 
uh, Fabian Shah say to to be a wing back right because he's unconvincing. We can put him as attack. Uh, only, this is just saying the assistants in control. Um, but yeah, you can do it just for this player, just for this month. Um, and you can keep doing that or you can take control completely. It's up to you. Um, so now he's he's training a new position. He still have his old position, but he's training his new position, which is good because um, we actually don't have a, too many players who can play there. Um, so and you can change the intensity of the training as well, um, which is good. Uh, discuss trait um, so you can change traits and stuff like that that's all brilliant and um, then you've got your rest so normal intensity training you know you can change them to um, no pitch or gym work half intensity normal intensity double intensity this is quite good because it, sometimes it has been hard to when when they come to you and go, oh, I'm unhappy with the training. It's like, well, where where is the training? It's not it's not blatantly obvious where you can change it. It's not blatantly obvious whether it's your individual training or their team training or and all that. So that's good. So you can change, and that's even better. I, this is a new thing that I didn't I've not seen before. Um, so if they're ninety percent condition, you can actually double the intensity. Um, if they're 59% you can half the intensity you know I'd probably half half normal normal and maybe double because their condition's fine so that, that that's a good thing I've never seen that before that is that's really good though um, and then finally you've got the coaches so um, you've got uh, technical coaching work okay so it tells you he could probably take on a bit more work possession um, and so on Average, light, so goalkeeper. It's because there's two of them, so that, that's... So he, he needs to be taken on a bit more workload, I think. Um, so that's good. The board have no concerns about the side of the coaching team. You can edit the coaching assignments there. So as we said, um, let's just OK that. So uh, goalkeeping... Right, so I, I, I don't need to be doing that. He's okay, let's let's look at he's assistant manager, he he doesn't need okay, so yeah, that's that's fairly good. We don't need the assistant manager and the manager being um overloaded with uh work and uh coach workload for the goalkeeping coach. He's only got two goalkeepers, three goalkeepers to work with. Defending tactical, um apparently I'm I'm the I, I I've got a heavy workload, which it, I don't mind. You know, I'm the manager, so it's all good. Um, so, yes, there we go. That's the training. Um, medical centre we'll just have a quick look at. I feel that overall the current training workload is unlikely to lead to a higher than normal level injuries. Blah, 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 blah. Injury risk is high and due to low match sharpness, okay. So there's not really a lot we can do with that, um, apart from lower the training intensity. But um, we're just going to... We're just going to leave it for now. Um, uh, medical centre training staff. You get your staff screen. Um, these basically show you that the lines are the average. That's a bit annoying that that jumps up so you can't really see. You can see the grey lines there anyway. Um, they're basically the average, um, average uh, in the Premier League coaching so we're below average in pretty much everything except fitness and man management um we've got a better physios above average um physios but essentially you want these right up the top you want to have the best staff in the game obviously we've still got some um team members here uh for the recruitment team which is good so we'll fill them out offline um you can add uh adverts if you want um, that makes it easier then it comes into your news feed at people that are interested r rather than you chasing um, chasing uh, people to hire um, so yeah that's that and you've got your responsibilities that you can change at any time so if you want to add more responsibilities to um, your assistant manager if you don't want to take certain things you can add it, give your assistant manager staff search this is where you'd search for your staff if you didn't want to place the advert um, but 
why not add? See, Tony Adams would be a good one. He's a director of football. Um, but we're not going to we're not going to start high. In fact, we will. We'll, we'll we'll go to approach sign, and we'll see if he wants to join us. I mean, we'll give him that. I mean, is that the Tony Adams? I think I've just hired some random person because he sounds like a a footballer. Let's have a look at his history. Oh no, it is. It is okay. Okay, stay off the alcohol. Um, yeah, so that's your staff search, staff shortlist. So obviously, because we bid for him, he's he's in our shortlist now. Job center. If you're looking for new jobs, because your jobs, you know, um, what's the word? Um, <coughs> if your job, if your job's, you know, on its way out, if you if they're looking to sack you then you can always look for a new job in the job center. And here's your job security. There we go. If your job's unstable, that's the word I was thinking of. So all these are stable at the minute, but these will change. And you can apply for jobs that are either already going, which these are, um, or you can, um, so you can apply for a job or declare interest in the job, or you can um, apply for jobs that are, you know, managers positions that are unstable. So that's awesome. Um, and I think we're going to leave it there for this episode, guys. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you come back for the next episode um, where we will hopefully get into actually watching a match um, and we can go through some of the uh, options in the match because we've covered a lot of the uh, admin stuff now so it's just about sort of you know going into the match now and seeing the graphics in the match and we'll do it 2d and 3d we'll do probably play two different matches um so you can actually see um the difference because different football manager uh, players prefer different things basically so thanks for coming guys thanks for watching this uh First look for FM19 with two game, 4-2 game, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys.